Airplane Wi-Fi. How much RF radiation? Airlines are increasingly adding Wi-Fi to more flights every day, blanketing passengers inside the cabin with RF radiation. Is it safe? Has it been tested? Yes, on potatoes. Using something engineers call dielectric substitution testing. This engineer says, Potatoes have properties that are similar to humans in the way they interact with radio frequency waves, and they were quite cheap. Thanks, Kenneth, but I see you're an engineer and not a biologist. I don't think the human nervous system is equivalent to a potato. How high? Let's measure. One minute of readings taken mid-flight during a Southwest Airlines flight showing levels of peak pulse RF that studies show cause harm to living beings. I'm not using a Wi-Fi enabled device. Neither are the persons on either side of me. An airline cabin is a metal enclosure. It reflects RF back inside. These readings indicate what is bouncing around inside the cabin. Passenger preference is not the basis for public health policy. Does anyone remember when we allowed smoking on flights? Next time you book, ask for the non-Wi-Fi section. <laughs>